If your blog includes product reviews or comparisons, or you want to start introducing those in your articles to help your audience make better buying choices and also increase your affiliate sales at the same time, this video is for you. Hello and welcome to another blog tech tutorial. If you don't know me, my name is Anna and I run a blog called The She Approach, where I help bloggers and content creators boost their web traffic and increase their blogging income. And affiliate marketing is one of my favorite ways to monetize my blogs. If you've been blogging for a while or you checked out your competition, you You've probably seen these affiliate websites that have these beautiful comparison tables for the different products they're reviewing and their affiliate links are seamlessly embedded in them helping their audiences browse through products and make better buying decisions at a snapshot and you probably also figure out that they're using some fancy tool or paid plugging to make that happen or they paid a web developer good money to get that customized table look. But if you're like me and you recently started a blog or a second blog in my case, and you just don't wanna invest in that and you want a simple solution to create a product comparison table on your blog for free, I got you. This is how I create these beautiful comparison tables for my pet blog in WordPress for free and you can too. For the purpose of this video, I'm gonna show you how I embed my Amazon affiliate links in this table. But if you ever wanna use an affiliate link or image that's just not part of the Amazon program, you can also do that and just replace it with a photo or link from your relevant affiliate website. So let's dive into it. I'm about to create a new table for one of my blog posts, and this is exactly what I would do to make it happen. Also keep in mind that if you're just looking for a quick tutorial on how to embed Amazon affiliate links to your WordPress blog, I have a separate video tutorial that goes in depth on that. So for the life example that I'm showing you, I recently wrote a blog post about best cat flea shampoo. And if you look through it, you will see that I mentioned separately all these products and review them separately. What I'm trying to do is offer a table with all the products at a glance to pop either at the beginning of my blog post or at the very end, making it super easy for people to check out the products if they don't want to read super in-depth reviews about them. In my opinion, it's best to have both on your article. You wouldn't just have the table and nothing else, but I'll walk you through exactly what my process is. So first of all, I usually create this table on a separate blog post or draft just so it doesn't mess up with my actual article. And I just create this in a draft. And here's how I create it. First of all, I create the structure of the table. So if you just go to your WordPress Gutenberg, add a new block and select their table, it will ask you how many columns and how many rows you want. I usually have three or four columns depending on how much information I wanna add in there. For this, I'll keep it really simple. You see here for this table, I created another column that says our rating, and I basically gave it a rating based on my research on the products. And what the rating spit is, is just a little photo that I've created in Canva with the stars, or in this case, the golden paws. So I'm gonna skip it for this video, but it's really easy to add an additional column and include it in there if you wanna add something like the editor's review or rate. So what I do is I select the column of three and then the row count depends on how many products I wanna add. In this case, let's say four. Then you hit create table and you'll see that they created, but it's really hard to see what's going on. I usually like to set up a, a header section so I can see that better and add the stripes in there so I can see the limitations of each column and where it ends. And then I'll name the main headers. Once you have that set up, all you need is go and embed your products. So I basically find the products that I already mentioned in the blog post or that you know you're gonna wanna include. Then you wanna look them up on Amazon or the platform of your choice. Once you found the right product, you wanna go and click on image where it says get the link. I usually leave it as medium or select the large image as it's gonna fit into the table anyways. Now make sure to copy the code. And now here's the tricky part. When you look at the table, you see a visual overview of it. So if you just paste in the code, people will see the code. What you want them to see is the image created by the code. So what I do instead is I'll leave myself a little marker to replace with the image code and I'll just write something in caps like here. Then I go to the table settings, edit as HTML, and this is gonna be a bunch of confusing code. What you wanna look for is the marker that you just wrote in. So something like here, obviously the bigger the word is, the easier it is to spot. And I simply replace it with my image code. Now don't let this confuse you. All you have to do is go back, edit visually, and you'll see that they added the image in for you. So, so easy to do. Now in the price column, I like to link to Amazon rather than give the actual price. And that's because Amazon doesn't allow you to include the prices on your blog unless you have a plugin that automatically updates them. So what I usually write is check price on Amazon. 
I also usually make sure to make this bold and open it in a new tab as well as marking it as sponsored, which lets Google know that this is a paid affiliate link. And don't forget that you actually need to disclose your affiliate links visually as in add a written disclosure in your blog post where you add any affiliate links, but you'll be able to preview your table and see how it looks. And don't despair if the initial look of it is not super glamorous because you can make changes to it. And what you need to do next is just repeat the process for the next few products. So when you add the second item, you want to make sure to find the second row for it and write a word in it, usually in caps, something long and easy to see. Then go back to edit in HTML, find that word and replace it with an Amazon code for the new product that you just copied off Amazon again. And there you have it. This is a super simple comparison table that you can create so quickly featuring a couple of your top products. But I personally like to take it a step further and I like to see a more branded look to my tables. And for that reason, I have installed a free plugin called TablePress. To add this plugin, all you need to do is log into your WordPress dashboard, go to plugins, add new, and search for table press. And it's this plugin right here. There are a couple of other free plugins that you can use as well. So if you like a different look or you're looking for something specific, be sure to also check those out. But I personally like this one because I can import my existing tables that I've easily created in WordPress without having to know any code into their plugin. So once you finish your plugin, go back to it, edit as HTML, and all you need to do is that big chunk of text is control A, copy it all, and move it over. So in your table press, you will see that if you click to import a table, it lets you select manual input. You want to paste in the piece of code and don't forget to select the input format as HTML. Add that as a new table and click import. You'll see then that it leads you to this page. I usually rename this so I can easily find it later. And then I scroll down to the settings and make a few quick changes. I leave the first row of the table as a table header because that's what I've already created, but I usually disable pagination. I don't want people to be able to go to the next page of the table. Then I save the changes and then I scroll back and just copy this little small short code in here. And I'm going to show you what difference this plugin makes. So I'm going to go back to my draft where I've created a table, scroll down and click the plus sign again, adding a short code. So you'll be able to select it there from the WordPress list. And I'm simply going to paste in the short code in and save the draft. And I'm going to show you what a difference that makes. Here's, for example, the table that I've just created in WordPress. It's kind of gray, kind of boring, nothing too special about it, but the same table exported into TablePress has this beautiful gray outline. It's just much easier to browse through the products and it just looks gorgeous. You can further add your colors, brand it or customize it from the TablePress settings. Or if you dare to venture there, you can actually build your whole table in table press without having to move it. But for me, it's just easier to build it in there first because I feel like I know what I'm doing. And there you have it. This is how I create beautiful tables in WordPress for free using just WordPress and a free plugin. You can customize these tables further and the more information relevant to the buyer that you add, the better it will be for your affiliate sales. If you found this tutorial helpful, please be sure to give it a like and subscribe to my channel for more WordPress and affiliate tips. And if you want to learn more about how to increase your Amazon affiliate income, check out my friend Debbie's course called Journey to the Center of Amazon. Debbie is a home decor blogger that makes four to five thousand dollars a month from Amazon affiliates alone. In her course, she goes over the best practices of using Amazon affiliate links on your blog, the best type of articles to write to get commissions from Amazon, how to improve your conversions, how to use tracking links, and a lot more advanced tips and tricks when it comes to being the best Amazon affiliate that you can be. She also covers a lot of important aspects of being an Amazon affiliate and things that you should not do. For example, writing out the price of the product in your in your blog post is forbidden by Amazon because sellers change the price so often, so they want to avoid confusion. That's why I usually don't write out unless I have a plugin that does that for me and updates the price automatically. But there are a lot of loopholes when it comes to Amazon and the best practices for them. So if you have an affiliate website where you have a lot of Amazon affiliate links, I'd highly recommend checking out Debbie's course and I will leave a link for it in the description. But again, if you're on a budget and you just want to learn more about affiliate marketing 
and promoting it on your blog. I also have a totally free course on it. It's a five day course on how to make your first affiliate sale, totally free to sign up and you'll receive a lot of video tutorials just like this one, helping you make your first affiliate sale, not just with Amazon, but with a couple of hidden gems in the affiliate world as well. As always, thank you so much for watching. And if this was helpful and you learned something new, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more.